The other factor which influence milk composition occur quite often is the mertitis. Mertitis in Vietnamese means uh, bệnh viêm vú của bò. Yeah. Infection of the mammary gland because of the pathogenic bacteria, it will influences to the yield of the milk, but also to the composition of the milk. Again, when infection of the others, other or the mammary glands occur, and this actually occurs quite often. Why? Because the mammary glands are very sensitive, and the cow live in dirty condition, and so on. So then, and if we don't take care carefully enough, then this happens very often. And when this happens, the yield of the milk is reduced, like the dairy cow produce less milk. But also not the yield, but the composition also changes because of this. And this disease is called mertitis. Okay. And then normally, not not normally, but this is according to food regulation that when a cow has mertitis, her milk should not be taken anymore for human consumption. It's not allowed anymore. So we have to separate her. We have to remove the milk away and separate her out to treat her as very costly. This is a nightmare of farmers actually with this son. And then, now we discuss what would be the change in milk composition. There will be a decrease in the fat content, decrease in the fat-free dry matter. Fat-free dry matter means the dry matter of milk without fat. We don't count the fat in, then so it's called fat-free dry matter. Lactose, casein, then all this will decrease in concentration. Other components will increase, like serum proteins, like chloride will increase. Serum proteins in protein from blood, okay, from the blood can come to the lumen, and then chloride also from the blood can come into milk, then it will increase. It's quite difficult to remember which one increase, which one decrease, but there's a principle for you to remember. And last part, we discuss what many milk components are synthesized in secretory cell. But other components also come from the blood. Okay, from the secretory cell, they are synthesized there and go to the lumen. But then somehow, many components from the blood can also can leak in the lumen. So then we have, so here, so when the mastitis occur, the components that are synthesized in secretory cell will decrease because the secretory cell are infected, are damaged, okay. But then when the other are somehow infected, are damaged, then more components from the blood will come to the lumen. See, serum protein from the blood, chloride from the blood will increase. But the fat globule synthesized in secretory cell, if you remember, then reduce. Lacto synthesized in secretory cell, reduce. Case in my cell, and then still reduce. And then the number of somatic cell increases a lot. Somatic cell means body cell. It's not natural component of milk. For example, leukocyte. If you remember leukocyte, the white blood cell. When the mastitis occur, mean the infection occur, then the body will produce a lot of leukocyte, and a lot of leukocyte will go to the mammary gland just to kill the pathogen, and then they enter more into milk. That is why number of leukocyte or number of somatic cell will increases a lot, increase to above four hundred thousand cells per milliliter. Normally, less than 200,000. Okay. But when the mastitis occur, then the number of leukocytes will increase to above 400,000 cells per milliliter. Catalase activity increases. Catalase is the enzyme in leukocyte, in somatic cell or in leukocyte. 
This is why when leukocyte number increases, the catalase activity increases. This ratio increases. Why? Because lacto is decreased, clotri is increased, so this ratio increases. We just look at the table, so it's easier to see. These are the components in milk. This is in normal milk. This is in abnormal, mean mertitis milk. Okay. And then how many percent change? If we look at total solid, non-fat, we don't count the fat in, then metitis meal has lower, okay? Reduce in total solid, reduce in fat, reduce in lacto, in total protein also reduce, casein of course reduce, but whey protein more from the blood, so now it's increased. Serum and bubin, especially this protein is the protein from the blood that's come into serum also belong to this group. Eh? Serum and bubin belong to the whey protein group. So now because it's come from the blood, so you see that this increases a lot in metallic milk, 250% even. Chloride increase, we already said. Chloride normally go together with sodium, sodium like nitrate. Go together with sodium, so sodium and chloride will increase. And because sodium already increased, so potassium and calcium will reduce. Calcium is present in the casein micelle, if you remember. So because casein micelle reduce, so it, this will reduce. Potassium reduce because so sodium is already increased. This is to maintain the osmotic pressure. Several the so component increase, then the other one should decrease to maintain the osmotic pressure. This is because of the homeostasis of uh, the cow. So try to memorize which component will increase, which component will decrease. If you remember the principle, then it's easy to memorize for your exam. Mm. What happens if you uh, increase a lot of serum albumin? Normally, when the cow has metitis, this milk is not allowed for human consumption anymore. At the first period of metitis, I mean, when the disease it just happened, we got a subclinical metitis, and it's quite difficult to know. Like people have to count the leukocyte to know if, if there is metitis meal or not. But at the later stage, even this meal has blood already. The meal change in color from white into kind of pink already, like when the infection is so severe. Serum albumin content is just like indicator that this would happen. But when it's happened, this milk is not yield anymore. This milk have to be thrown away and the cow need to be treated. Okay, with medicine, with antibiotic. So people now have to use antibiotics to treat this cow. You give to the cow, so part of it, we're going to residue, we present, we be present in the milk. And this is also another reason why metitis milk is not allowed, because it has antibiotic inside. And this is not good. And then when you buy that milk, you cannot make yogurt. Because to make yogurt, you need lactic acid bacteria to grow, to do fermentation. But then if there is residue of antibiotic in the meal, you cannot ferment. Right, so what do you see here? Now, somatic cell count. More somatic cell count means this is metitis meal, this side. And this is normal meal. You see, at metitis, sodium chloride increases, chloride increases, potassium decreases, the yield of milk, of course, decrease, and these main dry matter components decrease. Just more or less similar like this table. These two are quite similar. We just done with part of this chapter. What do you need to remember? Maybe we just go question and answer. So you can have a chance to remember.